Hello, 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 and for Daddy here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another conspiracy theory reading. This time it's on the Denver airport, so there's a lot of different conspiracies about the airport. Apparently it's pretty creepy. I will say the horse that enters with like the red glowing eyes, pretty pretty creepy. Um, <clears throat> the paintings are really creepy. There are allegations of underground tunnels and stuff. The paintings have like people like dying and stuff. It's weird. Anyways, we're gonna do a reading on it to see what's going on with that. Um, and yeah, I don't actually know what we're gonna get here. Like I said before, conspiracy theories are definitely a weird thing and Mixing in with tarot, I honestly never know what we're going to get. So these readings are all legend for entertainment purposes only. And let's get started. Okay. So, okay. That makes me think religious. Huh. Okay, so the Six of Cups makes me think of like a ceremony, um, and it also makes me think of like you see that in like like because like it's it's a like the card it depicts like a wedding right, and so it's like a ceremony or it's like um, a ritual, and the Six of Cups is also the past. So to me, I see that as past traditions. So someone's belief system or tradition or values, high priestess. Uh, I see that as more of like your intuition or your spirituality. So to me, it's like their spirituality or their, you know, belief system. And the two of swords is a separation. So for me, whatever designed this or whatever was inspired to design this or whoever designed this, whatever the initial design was is no longer what it is. That I can tell you. Because this to me is like whoever made these decisions either doesn't believe in that stuff anymore or doesn't have that belief system or it's not used for that anymore. That's what the first three cards indicate. Um, I'm not super shocked to see that because there is a lot of like weird imagery that seems very like spiritual. So yeah, it, there's some sort of disconnect with that. So that means that either the person... Or the, the people that were into it aren't into it or it's not used for whatever it was used for or intended to be used for um, anymore. The Eight of Swords is the victim of circumstances. So that to me means that something was wrong with whatever plan. <clears throat> like whatever the plans were, they changed last minute. Um, I'm not really <clears throat> super like a, like uh, educated on what's going on in the airport. But what I can tell you is it looks like there's unfinished things. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is just like laziness and then comfort and the hangman is having to let go of something, um, even though you don't want to. Um, so there must have been some sort of dispute or argument over construction or like where something was or how it was made. There's something, there's like an issue. It's like, oh, we... We ran into an issue that caused us to not be able to do this. That's the vibe that I'm getting is like there's a lot of stuff that couldn't be completed. There's a lot of things that couldn't happen because of some sort of issue. Victim of circumstance makes me think of the area. Um, it makes me think of, I don't know, timing. Um, it makes me think of the structure itself. Um, and then also the belief systems that started to change. So, ow. Hmm. So the Ace of Cups is like a loving bond. The Sound of Wands is reversed, not being able to prove ourselves. And the Queen of Cups... Something sensitive and emotional. Why does someone feel the need to prove themselves? Distrust, disloyalty. World reverse, walking away. Is it possible that the inspiration for a lot of these things... Sorry, let me move this. There's a little bit of a glare. It's kind of bothering me. I don't know if that helped at all. I don't think so. Is it possible that a lot of the inspiration here was to like impress someone or to please someone? 
it shows up as a queen of cups so that to me that's like maybe like a gift to someone or like an offering to someone or maybe this person was the muse there's someone here that's like it's like i'm trying to impress you i don't know what that means i have no idea what that means three of cups is like a falling out with that it's like oh well it's not enough and the world is reversed the eight of cups I'm wondering if this was like to impress someone of influence or power or something. I don't know. It's I, I don't, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, perhaps there was like supposed to be a specific room dedicated to someone. Maybe there was like a almost like a shrine or like a um, an homage to someone. I, there's just some some someone here is like very important and we're supposed to be impressed. I don't know. That's weird too. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Okay. So the world, I mean, the wheel of fortune is reversed. The three of swords is reversed. The knight of pentacles. Hmm. Huh. That's a heartbreak. Bad luck consistency what having to restructure from a tower situation dramatic catastrophic event old issues king of cups there's someone here this is weird there's someone here that took a risk that completely like fell flat But I'm seeing revenge. So this is what's so weird is there's someone else here that I feel like enacted revenge. Is it possible that there's like a, like someone was trying to tell a story or like snitch on someone through art? Is that possible? Because the the tower to me makes me think of turning things on their head. And it makes me think of restructuring what something was. So the what I'm what I'm seeing in my mind's eye and what I'm trying to explain to you is like what if you like someone or like something and then you realize that it wasn't what you thought it was. So you basically pretend like it's for someone and then you make it so that you're kind of telling the story that you shouldn't tell, right? Like you're kind of like, like think of it this way. If I were to put a symbol in something, the reason the symbol would be obvious is because I'm trying to tell a story. Does that make sense? Like if I'm an artist and I'm trying to depict my art, right? And I'm trying to depict... Um, a situation the reason why it's weird is on purpose that that's what i'm that's 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 what i'm seeing is like especially because this makes me feel like it's probably the art so for me art is always exaggerated you got to keep that in mind art is always exaggerated it's always like really hard hitting and the reason why I see a lot of the pieces being so hard hitting is a rebellious nature and someone who was like kind of snitching on something that they didn't like, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Yeah, see, I knew there was a betrayal and the Six of Wands is ego and the Devil card. <laughs> Okay, well, that's negativity, manipulation, things like that. So for me, I feel like somebody, it seems like somebody was mistreated. There's someone here that's mistreated and was trying to express themselves through something. Hmm. 
I also feel like someone here is trying to tell a story of like someone who's not a good person, but I don't know who it's weird because we're looking at an airport. So it's like, maybe it's, I, I don't really know. Like I haven't really seen everything. So maybe it's in like one of the art paintings. Maybe it's one of the paintings, maybe it's one of the sculptures. But for me, it's like, it's like all pointing to someone who's like not a good person. Like to me, it reminds me of like, it reminds me of like when, like what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is like um, a comic that's like poking fun at like a dictator, like that type of thing. Um, where to me, it's kind of like really pushing hard, um, like a, a message that's not like, it's not, I, it's not, it, it's not as dark as it sounds. It's more so like opposing sides like it makes me think of like when people are on opposing political sides like to me it's a different narrative so the, they feel like it's important to poke at it it's weird it's like over exaggerated and trying to poke at somebody that they believe to be dark but that person has a different perspective and has a different way of like operating does that make sense because the five of swords is all the little details and the pettiness the seven of swords of failure and the page of pentacles to me it's like for instance it's like if someone comes in like i'll give you a great example it's kind of like what what what's been happening with um Puerto Rico, where a bunch of people are coming in with money and kind of like just spending and buying a, a ton of stuff and sort of destroying what the land is like known for and the beauty of the land and stuff like that. That's what it's giving me. It's like, this is our space. This is our stuff. And you're coming in and you're destroying it. And I don't like that. So I'm going to depict that. That's the vibe. I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but that's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, for me, it feels more like, and this might be a little dramatic, but because we're talking about spirituality, it feels more like a curse than anything. Like the devil card here makes me think more so like a curse. Like it's like, this is off the sweat of our backs, not yours. That's the vibe. So it's like, now we're going to enact revenge because you've, you're in our space. I don't honestly know what the fuck that means but that's the vibe that i'm getting especially with the devil card it's like you this is ours so that's that's what's so weird to me is like i don't really know perhaps uh there's research on the land that i haven't seen that'll maybe describe that or like maybe in the area um because this is giving me very much like stepping on someone's toes Yeah, the fool is naive energy. It's like I do something caused them to stop, and it has to do with this thing. Like something was protected or reserved or preserved or something. It's giving me very much like if you dug into the earth and you popped out a mummy, and you're like, oh, we can't touch the mummy. We can't touch this anymore. This this ground is sacred. There was a mummy in it. Like it's that type of vibe. I don't know what that means. That's just what I'm seeing in my head. Um, and the king of wands reverse and the four of cups is like detach. We have to remove ourselves. Um, there's something here. Um, I will say, I really do think that there, yeah, there's the higher, higher fin. There's the religious aspect again. It's also like marriage and commitment destroyed six of wands, six of swords, excuse me. That's having, that's distance travel, change the internet. Um, but for here, it's really like the location and then the three of pentacles drop for me. I'm telling you straight up, like the vibe of getting from like the curse is more so about enhancing intentions like the vibe that i'm getting is like all of your true colors will be shown it's almost like a truth serum like because like in my mind's eye i see like a barrier it's like if you buried things around the corners of the of the airport and there's like a barrier and what i'm seeing is like all of your true colors will be shown like truth serum so if you're a miserable person you will be more miserable if you're a good person you'll be more good to me that's the vibe that i'm seeing it's like if you turned up the law of attraction or you turned up like the honesty and i think that this was done before like for me this looks like it was done when it was being built this thing was done when it was being built to get people to be honest about the things that they were doing and the money motivation that they were having and the selfish greed that was happening when this was built 
because the chariot's reversed, the star, the strength card is upright, and the three of wands, which to me is like, I want to halt the progress of this. So to me, this was just to show that people were greedy. But as of right now, whatever is going on, it's not, I don't think it's used for what it was originally intended to be because whatever happened here um, caused it to stop. So now what I see it as is just an airport. That's it. This is all like a long periodically a time ago when it was being built because for me, I just see it as an airport now. Um, there's still some weird history and there's still some weird spiritual stuff, but that's because of what this was. So I don't know. I would suggest maybe I need to do it, but I'm not very good at research. I'm a Gemini. I don't really have a great attention span, but perhaps someone has done research in the area, especially back in the day and seen. I'm telling you, there's an emperor here. There's someone who was like, like it's like if a dictator needed to be exposed for being greedy, who just came in and sort of like stomped all over everything and took land or something. I don't know what that means. Excuse me, because the Ten of Pentacles is money. So there's money motivation for this person and they're greedy. Greed, greed, greed. If you, I'm telling you right now, if you went to the Denver airport and you were acting greedy, you would have weird experiences. There would be a lot of negativity around you because for some reason, greed is a trigger. For whatever energy is left over in this space, greed is a trigger. If you, I'm telling you, greed is a trigger. So... It's some sort of, I don't, I don't know if it's like magic. I don't know if it's like a curse. I don't know, but there's it's greed. That's the focus, money and greed. It's a little bit of power, but it's mostly greed. So that's the best I can do. I could be dead wrong. I could be reading on a situation that's like similar in the area. I don't know. But what I see right now, I just see it as an airport right now. This is the T in the beginning. Um, so... If you like that, cool. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I did my best. You know, this is new for me and I'm still learning. If you'd like to uh, tip, there's a link to my people down below. If you'd like to follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. Do these live on Twitch, TikTok, Amphrodite. Um, and uh, there's a PO box if you want to send me anything in the bio. Um, and it, it also let me know what other readings you want me to do. If you have other conspiracies or anything you want me to do. Until next time, bye guys.